Okay. So just having a conversation on uh, addiction to thinking. Now he, here's the thing, like even if you're just sort of staying at home and basically are not doing anything, uh, it doesn't mean that you've let go of your addiction to thinking. So some people may have a very simple life, or be living like monks, but yet they can still be full of their thoughts, full in their thoughts. One of the main things is, is holding on to past memories or traumatic incidents and going over. So every time you meet them, you say, well, this thing happened to me when I was five years old, or this relationship breakup that happened 30 years ago, I still can't let it go. So it just shows then that uh, there's a major addiction to the thinking in the mind. So even if you're not doing much on the outside, you still have to transcend your thinking. And uh, so the way to do that is, again, just the usual self-inquiry. If there's a heavy memory, just be, be the observer of that. Try to be the detached observer of that. If there's very strong emotions around an incident, just uh, practice being the detached witnesser. And uh, also any thoughts, any images, any pictures. You really want to transcend it so that uh, it has no longer any interest or meaning for you and be willing to give off the payoff of having this aspect of your identity. Be willing to let that go so that you can be in the fields of the observer. The reason why people can get really addicted to the thinking is because often they have some stories, some victimhood dramas, oh, this breakup was bad, or this person died, or whatever it is. And just by transcending that, going, being willing to go into the observer and the detached observer until these things have no meaning, and they disappear, and then you can stay in those fields of presence and witnessing. So it's really important to be willing to let go of any kind of dramas or traumas or past story that you have so you can transcend uh, the identification of thoughts.